Okay, this video is just to demonstrate um, the remote diagnosis um, of GOLO. The GOLO is operational and um, this is just a short demonstration of what could be happening in the future. The workshops will be able to give better service uh, to the end user, the car owner, and the car owner has more in touch to the actual workshop itself. Now, with to get this to work, uh, remote diagnosis, they have to be friends, uh, so they have to share the contact information. So the contact information uh, has to be exchanged. And when the car owner has a problem, uh, the light comes up on the dash of the car, it's simply the car owner has to go to the car. If he's not interested in the fault, he just wants his workshop to look after it and wants to see if the workshop is online, he simply just goes to remote diagnosis it will look for the technician that is um, able to do it. He will be able to select the technician and then send a message to that technician to see if he's online. So I'll just send a short hi and it actually indicates on the pro. So the technician might be on another vehicle but the indicator will come here. He will go to the message area and notice oh there's one from Galo and he can then say hi to exchange back to say yes I'm online the message appears back here now all it needs to happen now is that the car owner then hits the plus area and goes directly to remote and then I gives me permission to take over his car so I accept the remote diagnosis You can see it changing. It set up the menu so they're both the same. And then I go into the area of the vehicle. So this is a Hyundai gets. So Hyundai gets. And at the same time you can see the screen is message is split. It's the same as the pro. The pro is actually split so I can instruct him to do something if I need to do something, RPM increase or something like that. So to look at the fault codes and so forth, I select the year model, the engine family, and what module I'm going to go into. You can see it's the same on the phone. The end user doesn't have any control. He can actually um, cause problems. So we go into control. We can select the red codes. And you can see there's a communication problem with this vehicle. So the light might have came up on the dash or something. It's present. So now I can actually clear that fault remotely. I don't have to do anything to the customer. Um, we get him in the workshop. It might appear again. So this is a simple fix. So I can then go back and I just clear the fault code yes I want to clear it the code has been cleared so now if I go back I will have no codes so there's no codes so now also I can actually look at some of the data streams so if I wanted to see the coolant, the temperature if that's okay and everything, the battery level so I can select a few little items um, and just view them for instance and see if it is running because I'm looking at the car I don't know whether it's running or anything like that um, if the fans are operating so I can select even the injector in duration so we can see if the fans are operating um, let's have a look at something that uh, Uh, the engine speeds, as you can see if it is running. So I go into data stream and you can see the live data. Now this is live data. Okay, you can see that there's 12 volts. It is running. The fans just cut off itself so they know the coolant is right on the vehicle. So I've gave it a general check on the condition of the vehicle. It's not overheating, it doesn't look like. The fans will cut in and out. At the same time, I can also graph this bit of information so I can select the three ones I can graph and look at it in a graph form. 
so while the car is actually running I can see it in a graph form, even a combined graph so um, it gives me some sort of indication a little bit better what's going on with the car itself and the temperatures and so forth after I've completed this um, I can actually then notify the customer so it's all good and I can speak if I wanted to I can hit the hot button here and actually speak to him I don't have to type if I don't want to type or I can send a message directly like that all good it will receive it to the phone itself so he'll see it here all good or voice can be applied so test completed so it'll send a message directly to the girl and then he'll be able to play it back over and it works via the Bluetooth on the phone too so if he's got the phone linked to Bluetooth it actually will give the message over the phone so after the completion of um, the diagnosis the faults being cleared I can then give a report so by double ending the session double click I can quit he has to rate me if I've done the right thing he can do that on any time so I can quit this is the report that is generated I can then fill it in and let him know that um, you know the fault was clear um, on this date okay cleared and um, then I can then send that report to him so he can rate me um, I can then generate the port after it's done and then send it he will receive the report um, and what I've said down here and this is kept as a record so now the report will appear here um, and then you can see the report and my comments down here so that's the end of the diagnosis and then I can carry on with my day-to-day -day business so that's a little bit about the remote diagnosis of Golo 1 and Golo 3